Put your hands where I can see them. Show me your hands. This is the pace. Show me your hands. Right now! Show me your hands! Right now! Scavenged, battery-powered police lights protrude from her back. The flickering light show reveals a gun in her shaking hand. Her hand is trembling from some sort of neurodegenerative disease. Madame, please drop the firearm immediately! You shouldn't be here. Something's very wrong with her. She's completely out of control. Failure to comply. Suspect is displaying aggression. Officer, under duress! Officer, under duress! I am the police. Don't move! Don't move! Hands on your head. Suspect is armed and dangerous. Lateral vascular neck restraint. Corrupted sleeper. Corrupted sleeper, critically reducing blood from passing through the neck of the suspect. Be careful, detective. Don't do anything that might set her off. You'll have to go for the gun sooner or later. Perhaps you can learn crucial facts before you do. Ma'am, please. We want to help you, but you need to lower that weapon. Disturbance reported. Authorized deadly force. Sector, take the shot! Big Red Key! Big Red Key! Big Red Key? That's code for the battering ram. Cop talk. You know this. It's a goddamn police shit bag! As she waves her hands, you notice familiar looking ampoules and packets sticking out of the mountain of police gear on her back. Medicine or drugs? She thinks she's a police officer. Try treating her like a police officer, a lower ranking police officer. moment of hesitation, she almost doesn't seem disturbed, but like someone suddenly waking from a deep sleep. Does she not believe you two are actually police officers? License and registration! License and registration! Come in, dispatch! Sector! Sector! Azimuth! It's not a code, just disjointed words. She's losing it. One twitch and there would be blood.
All right, here's how we do it. As soon as that gun isn't pointed at you again, you dash right. Then immediately close the distance. Left hand grabs the barrel, right one breaks the wrist. No, that won't be necessary. Look closer. The gun, all three barrels, red and blue light shining through. It's not loaded. This might be your only chance. No one ever cares anymore. Why would they cheat me like this? Poor woman. We need to figure out what to do with her now. Nobody's ever around. to visit me. Her scratched skin is warm to the touch, but the person inside doesn't even know you're there. She's in a stupor. I've seen this before. God knows for how long. Could be days when they get like this. Honestly, I don't know. Dementia, probably. Dementia and Channel 8, and loneliness. Yeah, looks like a bad case. But the question is what to do with her right now? I don't think there's any need for that. In her current state, and without a gun, she isn't really a threat to anyone. We could let Titus know. This is a perfect problem for the local peacekeepers to handle. They might even know her family. Then we can ask him once we get back to the whirling. But we have to hurry, because it's late and they might have already gone home. But I think we are done here for now. Let's head out. This is done. Please, leave the radio on. Reflex to what? Being left alone? She stands motionless. Just a heap of clothes and flashes now. Maybe if you search her once more? The woman stands slumped. She looks catatonic under her mountain of RCM paraphernalia. Is one of those things a police cap? There were narcotics in there, too. You're thinking of taking them, do you? She doesn't even flinch as you reach out and disentangle the familiar-looking lieutenant's cap from her mountain of RCM paraphernalia. Oh, is that yours? The lieutenant nods. You take the fire of Porolidon and the bottle of speed as evidence, obviously. She didn't consume them. She didn't look high. She confiscated them, a little like you are doing now. You might not want to take those. You seem to have a slight problem. Listen to him for once. Thank you. I'm doing this to help you. We need to focus on the case. The old woman doesn't react to your touch. <laughs> 